If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Ryan, we explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Looks like we can't go any further. We didn't bag all the loot last time! Not to worry. Allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Fighting be faster. But would it gliding be faster? Hey, are those guys? Yeah. <laughs> Think you can get away? Income. Uh. <sighs> Orders given. Orders received. I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. And then had to rescue me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! 
You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? I think we should keep going. With Stanley by our side, we'll have no problem. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley. Renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says maybe you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley who braved the man Javari. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name-dropping yourself every time you open your mouth! It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> Well, Jack will listen, won't you? Where was I? You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely. There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. Lord Suddenly. My partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow. So, did he make it? Exactly. In the end, I alone was able to set foot on home ground once more. Yet the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> that poor guy. How could that happen? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place with the wind and have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wheel? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm. Is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there?
made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Interesting idea, but is it true? Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry, there's no time to lose. <laughs> 